Okay, what we have here for sale is a 80-pound uh, self-crossing uh, pistol crossbow. And uh, this is a uh, pretty common type of design. When you get it, it'll be brand new like it is shown right here in the package. But I just wanted to uh, show you how uh, this thing sets up, how easy it is to set it up. Maybe even show you a little bit on how to shoot it once we get all said and done. What you're going to get in the package is the gun itself. Get a fiberglass limb. And then a little bag of parts like this. This little bag of parts is going to contain your uh, your limb tips, uh, the parts that you're going to need to mount the limb, and the string itself. And once you see how these things work, they go together pretty easily. The only thing I'm not exactly sure that I, of what I'm going to be able to do is whether I can uh, cock this thing on the screen like I've got shown here because uh, it takes just a little bit of oomph to do that. So anyway, to mount the limb, we're going to screw this little retaining uh, nut out of here just a little bit give us some room to work. Okay. Got a lot of different parts here, but uh, one of which is a little wedge-shaped piece that will stick in here. Just going to square up the end of that. We'll take our crossbow limb with the printing face up. We'll stick it in just like that. And we'll stick a rubber, this is a rubber piece, um, one behind the limb and one in front of the limb. Those are both rubber pieces. And then we have this uh, metal piece that uh, has a little notch in it there which is going to uh, what this thing's going to screw into. So once you get all that stuff stuck in there you can see that uh, it goes together pretty easily don't have to crank that down too tight. So to review what I've got is a little wedge shaped piece and a rubber uh, vibration dampener. On the front of this I have another one of those rubber dampeners and then that metal plate right there and that definitely holds that limb into place with the included Allen wrench. Alright to put the string on we'll go ahead and put these little end caps on here. You want to make sure they're good and tight and, and fully on. If you try to put the string on without those things being fully seated, you could break one of those. We don't want that to happen. Here's our string. Goes on here like this. Now the only thing about mounting this up is you can see that you know there's going to be some tension on that string. And so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this down on the ground. And if you can see my hand here, I'm going to push down on this thing and I'm going to get it to bend a little bit and get it on there. And like I say, it's a little easier if you can do it on the ground where you can get some leverage and that's what I'm going to have to do as I go off screen here. There. So I, basically I was able to get down on the ground. I put my knee on this and I can have more leverage to pull this thing back with my hand and then the crossbow is ready to go, ready to shoot. Now to cock this thing there's a little tiny release tab right here if you can see that just uh, lets that thing come loose and we're just going to bend it like so and lock it into place. Now two things happen when we lock it in like that. First of all this little lever right here is the safety and in order to shoot this we're going to have to push that forward when we fire so that's one thing accomplishes when you cock that thing back it automatically sets the safety so that you can't uh, fire the crossbow without pushing this forward into the firing position and the second thing that it does is uh, obviously cocks the crossbow has an adjustable open sight so, uh, you know, the effective range on this thing is only about 20 yards, if even that. It's uh, mostly a close range weapon. Works really good on any kind of small rodent you might want to shoot at. And so, uh, definitely something to uh, keep in mind now. The uh, 
thing that we're going to do now is we got that all assembled. Would that take a grand total of two or three minutes? Keeping in mind I've done this a few times. Oh, also, when you get the crossbow, you're going to get 24 of these uh, PVC bolts. And uh, these work really good for just plain target practicing. The nice thing about the PVC bolts is that they, uh, they are slightly flexible. So uh, a lot less likely to uh, take a permanent bend where you can't use them anymore. Um, I also sell some aluminum bolts. Aluminum bolts, the advantage of those are is they're straighter. Let's see if I have an aluminum one. Here's one right here. Um, aluminum bolts are straighter than a PVC bolt ever will be. So for longer range shooting, the aluminum is better. But if you hit something hard and tweak this at all and bend this aluminum shaft at all, they're completely useless. Where these have a tendency to be able to bounce back. So you can shoot these, uh, can certainly uh, more shots out of each one. And of course, I suggest you use some kind of uh, nice uh, foam target uh, backstop for them because uh, any of the bolts will last longer if you're using a proper backstop. If you're going to do some uh, major shooting, then you're going to have to uh, think about it. Now what I've got here is my local phone book. Sometimes people are kind of wondering exactly what the capabilities of these uh, bolts are. So I thought, well, what the heck. Okay, what I'm going to do is, uh, there's a little retaining uh, dealie right here. I just stick that underneath and it just kind of holds it in place so that when you fire the crossbow, you uh, won't have to worry about the uh, you know, the bolt's going to be held into place by that little retaining ring. So, just keep in mind what that's for. Alrighty then. There you can see, bring this down a little bit again, that this uh, bolt went, oh, you know, we're still, here's the point right here, you know, we're still doing some damage here through about half of this phone book. That's a, a real easy half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch worth of phone book that that shot through. And you can see that even with that really stiff target, this uh, PVC bolt is uh, very, uh, very ready for another round. And, you know, it didn't break, nothing bent on it or anything else like that. I actually shot these phone books with some of the uh, aluminum darts and you know, for some for several hits, those zoom and darts continue to stay straight. So they're very durable. Um, but like I say, what you'll be getting with this particular crossbow is a bunch of the PVC ones because they're just going to be a little bit more fun. Okay, also, when you get that, um, I'm going to be throwing in one extra string. So you not only get the string that comes with the crossbow uh, in the box, in the package, but you're also going to get another 80-pound string because you just never know when you're going to break one and who wants to be shooting and having fun and have that thing go away. So that's the crossbow I have for sale. Like I say, it's brand new in the box. You saw me open that up. The uh, It's a self-cocking pistol crossbow. Um, gives you some pretty darn good accuracy. And uh, also one last thing is if you want to take off this screw and take off this little nut here, it has a rail here that you can mount uh, red dot scopes, uh, you know, rifle scopes, and I do carry some uh, rifle scopes on there. Um, it just gives you a little bit more fun for accuracy. The front sight will come off of here. If you, if you need that for line of sight. So that's the uh, crossbow I have for sale.